Good morning, everybody. It's Matthew at Mr. Domestic. I got here at my booth at Spring Quilt Market 2018 a little early so that I can show you my entire booth. So I'm just gonna walk around and show a lot of the projects, probably focusing on those projects that other made, makers made, just because I really wanna highlight the amazing work that they all did. So enjoy my love to pieces. This book. is my booth as you're walking down the hallway. So from any angle, the beginning part of the booth are these oversized flowers that I made. Didn't quite know how I was gonna do it, but figured it out along the way. This is made from fabric and I used Tyrell Magic a little bit of wire. I wanted this one to be floppy and then this one to be stiff, highlighting the two colorways. And then this is an oversized gladiolum to highlight the gladiola in all of my prints. And then right here, when you go this way, you see my logo for both my brand and my collection and then on this side I did the mandala drops those who have watched my reveal video know how special this print and pattern is to me I totally want this on my room wall like if this was my bedroom I'd be so happy I'm kind of bummed I gotta tear it down in a couple days but for now I'm going to enjoy this amazing space and so I'm going to go through the apparel first I have a rack right here so people can see it. And this is a dress that M Michelle Karish made. Amazing dress on its own. And then look at the bottom. Like this EPP English paper piecing on the bottom. That is just fabulous and clever and adds a nice little pop to an already amazing dress. And then this right here is a bag that Paola Baker made amazing matchstick quilting here she used like a dark navy cork i think i need to get me some of this because this collection is meant to go with navy as well as other colors the inside here and then i'm just gonna pull all the pieces okay darling this was made by emma talercio she made this for her newborn and then she made the shirt that i'm wearing now and a dress for helena right here so like we could all match so somehow i need to snag a picture with her um newborn and me in this shirt and my daughter in this dress that would be super cute and then this was made by katie lodgson here what a lovely dress so much detail with the ruffle the way she used the prints i really love it and this is going to be a little jostling this area but i want to make sure to get all of the makes in here this arrived last night from florence taylor for her son i'm so honored by his excitement of my collection because he was really stoked to see a male designer making stuff and prints that he could use i love i love it when kids get involved in all this stuff and oh my gosh let me show you the tag here made by ashley tuabo she used my efflorescent celeste knit oh and this is a dress for Helena. There are lots of dresses for Helena in here. And this is the rayon, my Gladiolum's rayon. If you've never worked with rayon or felt, I'm sure you felt it, but oh my gosh, the drape in the hand is amazing. This was made by Kim Desell. Love this dress. And oh, okay, this one has a story here. This one was made by Katie Skoog and it's actually a pattern of hers with her company, Simple Life Pattern Company. And um, when I first started, I would make a lot of clothes using her patterns. And um, she was coming up with a name for this outfit and I like jokingly told her to name it after me. And she actually named it after my daughter and myself. So this is the Helena top. And then this is the Maddie Suspender Scallops um, skirt. Such an honor. <laughs> it really touches my heart when anyone wants to involve my daughter. Um, makes me really happy. And then this is the, I'm going to wear this shirt on Sunday, but this is the shirt that I finished and I went with snaps. And I'll do a blog post on that when the time comes. Then I've shown y'all my cardigan that I made. This is a knit shirt that I made. And Art Gallery Fabrics has this actual knit color and it goes with the 
color in the sleeves and I thought that was a perfect pop. And my daughter Helena said that the pocket was what made it, which I was like, okay, girl, her superpower is stylish. So she knows this. And this was made by Hillary and she wore it. You'll see pictures of her wearing it on the interweb. And then I put these on here because they were beautiful to put here. This right here, it's a whole cloth quilt. I love whole cloth knit quilts. And so this is just a yard of each of my knits. And I put only wool batting in between. And I use stretch stitches. And I have made one like a year ago and it's the, probably the most durable and most used quilt that I have at home. And then this is a hexi quilt that I made. And it was quilted by Donna's Lavender Nest. Let me see if you can see it right there. She was so thoughtful and she quilted love, L-O-V-E, with these cute, which look like, look like cherries to me, but there, it says love all throughout it, like here. It's like, what a darling, darling message to have in this quilt, because quilts are love and then with love to pieces. And this is her. I'm obsessed with her quilting. She's quilted a number of my quilts already. And um, definitely, definitely reach out to her if you need some long arming. So those are my apparel. And then I've already spoken to this quilt, but let me show you right here. This quilt was made by Slice of Pie Quilts. This one, I totally ugly cried for about 30 minutes, like happily, whenever I was sent. It was a surprise from her. And she, when she read the story, or listen to the story of this print and how important it was to me, reminding me of my my sister who passed away. Um, she has this pattern that she knew she had to make for me and she was making a different quilt and knew that she had to do it and it's forever touched my heart and this will definitely be something that I cherish forever. And these right here, this is a bench that my husband coincidentally bought for our house a couple weeks ago, not knowing that I was looking for seating for my booth and it was the perfect color. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's like he knew. Uh, these are some of the pillows that I made. This is a knit pillow out of my knits. This is a pattern by Modern Handcraft. And it's Modern Hexies. Love doing that. This is a cathedral window pillow. I used Jenny's um, Missouri Star Quilt Company tutorial for the Easy Breezy Cathedral Windows. And then this was made by Carrie Jewell and it's her Whirly Gig EPP pattern. I've made it myself and it's super duper fun. Thought this was a great way to showcase my prints. She did such an awesome job. She has a lot of patterns out there y'all so I would check her out. Definitely fun. And then here, oh, Love this, this backpack. It was made by Cecilia Sullivan. It's a noodle head backpack and I love it. I know it's got pink and stuff in it, but I'm still gonna use this and work it. Like, I just really love it. And luckily I get to keep it. I'm really, really honored to include this in my, in my life, okay? Let me go to this right here. I posted about these. These are hydrangea blossoms. And the response has been so positive, I'm definitely gonna do a tutorial on these. And this is Mandy Andy Designs bag that she made using my salvages of my strike offs. So this is gonna be a bag I cherish forever because I was saving them. I'm generally not a salvage person, but they were super oop, duper important. It's my first collection. And she offered to do that. And I was like, oh my gosh, perfection. And then here, right here, this is a cut and run bag. Like what a perfect size that Trina Pete Peterson made. It's super big. Like what a great bag for like retreats, going to, to class. I'm definitely gonna use this one a lot. And it has my anthem in print with the 26 flowers. Then, this here is a doll. When Joe Maddai offered to make this for me, and his handle is Manhandled Threads, I was like, 
I have to have it. It's amazing. I originally said that um, it was for Helena, but I'm not going to give it to her. I didn't offer it to her yet, so I'm going to keep it for myself. It's just beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. I would definitely encourage using him to make it. It was He was pretty quick, and the quality is like top notch. Look at the wig. Hi, how are you? <laughs> then this is a woven box that I made. I'll post the finalized box pretty soon. I love making this. This was an example of my um, woven Easter basket that I made. I made a small version for home decor. And these were made by Norma Agron. This is a wallet. Like, look at the inside of this. Like, what? The craftsmanship is insane. And then she made this bag. Like, I'm just, I'm blown away. I thought it was exciting to sew myself with the stuff, but then seeing other people sew is just wackadoodle. This I use my good friend Tara's of Lefty Needle, her Easy Miter tool, and I made a box. I fashioned a box out of it. And that was, I think it's super cool. A lot of y'all have seen this. I have a free tutorial on making a box pouch. They're super easy. Like it's like a 20 minute project once you prep everything. And then seriously, these are um, trucker hats made by Sterling Zone. And I thought this was such a clever idea. And then I saw them and I was like, wow, these are super duper amazing. These have probably been the most popular sought after things in my booth. So much so that I'm probably gonna bring some of these into my Etsy shop and ask her to make them for me um, because they are so fantastic. Like, what a clever idea. And let's go down. These are my Fat Quarter Gypsy pop-up cans. This is a sew together bag made by Angela Perrenhage of Making Whatever. She did EBB. Look at this in a hexi, a one inch hexi. Perfection. It's like it was created for English paper PC. <laughs> I love these bags. If you've never made a um, sew together bag, it's my most utilized bag that I've made myself. And now I have another one. And okay, I'm going to talk about Catalina Fiber Arts and Fabrics for a minute because their kitchenware that they made, and this is what they do, is beyond. Like it's next level beyond amazing this here what a clever coaster like look like i don't drink wine but i use fancy glasses for like sparkling water look the coaster's there like you don't ever have to worry i just thought that was super clever look at these they're reversible look at the branding like those who are interested in branding this is top notch branding it's a microwave bowl cozy and i actually do this all the time i heat stuff up and then i burn my hands but now i don't have to worry about it and then clever 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 fabric napkins and then a standing mixer bowl and then i'll skip over here they also made these slouchy fabric baskets and these are all things that they make if you're looking for some like one-of-a-kind kitchenware go to them like i'm blown away i even immediately messaged them when i got it and told them that they have something really special going on because these things are spectacular and this is an oh how sweet zipper case made by angela perrenhage and if i'm saying your name wrong angela sorry making whatever i've made a couple of these too and they are just fabulous great to to use for weaving look at this weave yeah and I believe this is my friend Tara's woven stars pattern. More trucker hats here. Oh, these are so cool. <laughs> and this is my antonym pillow. I have a free pattern on my website for this. And in, in this one, I have all 26 flowers from A to Z. And this is one of my more than a pocket bags, which is the perfect bag. I'm gonna let Tara borrow this actually. Whenever you don't wanna carry a purse and you have too much to fit in a pocket, like it just, it's a, a cross body bag. And this was definitely a way that I wanted to highlight this print. And then this right here is a pillow. I used my Mr. Domestic's bow ties EPP pattern and I made a pillow. And it's like faux string blocks. It's just my 
stripe flow print, and then that's part of mandala drops. And then, fanny pack. How do you say no to a fanny pack? <laughs> Look at this. It's so cute. There's pockets in there made by Mattia Harrison of Mattyism Zinc. Mattyism Zinc. There. So those are all of the makes for like home decor and bags. And then now I am going to put my camera back on a tripod and show you some of the quilts. Ooh, 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 before that, look. This was made by Isabel Selak. Butterfly wings for Helena. Oh my gosh, Helena's gonna freak, she hasn't seen them. <laughs> Yay! So now I will be back to show you the quilt. Yay, here I am to show you the quilt. <laughs> So these quilts are amazing. I'm blown away they were able to make them so quickly. And um, I definitely wanted to showcase them in this video. So this was the original slice of pie quilt that she made. It's a new pattern that she has. Show you really close. Like, look at that, it's so clever. So the pattern here is called the Moonrise Quilt. Show you this. Love that. And then this right here is a flower mania quilt that I did. And after making a full one, I didn't want to make another full one. I just wanted to basically copy Amy Cinebaldi, who um, did this with the flower mania pattern before. And I did a strip of flowers using it and just inset it in some denim. love this quilt. And this one. Okay, this one right here. I don't know how y'all did it, girls. This is a Brimfield Block EPP quilt. Made by Kim and Nisha. Look at this. It is amazing. Love this. And then this right here is a free pattern. I'll have a free pattern. In my lookbook, this is called Woven Pieces. And this one was quilted by Mariposa Quilting last minute. Like, she was my hero. I wouldn't have been able to finish this without her. And it, it looks like, uh, it's an 80 by 80 quilt and it just looks like they were woven. See, the strip going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ta-da! Ta and I know I went through everything super duper quick and I don't expect you to be able to take it all in, but I wanted to share what my booth looked like and all of the makers out there, I'm going to write an individual blog post showing all of the details and close-ups of their amazing work. So that comes oh in the Oh my future. goodness, I almost totally forgot to show y'all my ottoman that I made. <laughs> this is what I made with the La Paz, it's 22 inches. And I applied it on denim, and it was a lot easier to make than I thought. And I'm going to have a tutorial on my YouTube channel next Friday showing you how to make your own ottoman. Ooh, yay! Oh, yay! That was my Love to Pieces booth at Spring Market 2018. I know I went super duper fast. I hope you were able to take it in. This is going to be a whirlwind of a weekend, and I'm glad that I could bring y'all with me. So keep it positive, y'all. Mr. Domestic out. <laughs>